this is the program. First we import all our required libraries. This is in imap lib for the email where we can uh, open the email server and connect to the email server. Then we have the time, just for timing, uh, um, every 11 minutes to make a new request. And then we have the GPIO library to uh, control the some lights on the Raspberry Pi which show us if we have new mail at the end. Yeah, then we have two variables. One is the username and the second is the password. This is your normal normal Google Google account data. So I here I've got my email to login and here the password. But that's not my password. That's uh, I made a placeholder while recording because I think you can understand because uh, why why I don't want to write my password into here. So when you download this file, then please do this and this, change it to your account uh, data, uh, because else it will not work. Yeah, then we have a bunch of functions here. We have init, stage 1, stage 2, stage 3, dark, this is for the lights which show us if we have new mail then retrack uh, uh, then we have the mail function which shows how many new mails we've got analyze it analyzes the the how many mails we have the number of new mails and makes another stage for every for every number of new mail and then we have the main function. Yeah, it's. I will show you. I will sh first show you the init function. We create a new uh, object by imaplib, by and uh, we we connect to the imap server of Google Mail. Then we log in with our login credentials and. Yeah, that's uh, that's actually everything from the mail. It's really easy, don't you think? Yeah, then we init the GPIOs. We set the mode to BCM and set 1727 and 22 as output. I, I can explain why, because I made the program make it like that. I have three LEDs and as you can see here when we have one to three new males it only it is only lighting one LED when we have four to ten new males then two LEDs are lighting when we have more than ten LED uh, sorry uh, with more than ten LEDs but I'm speaking here when we have more than ten emails new emails then all three LEDs are lightning. This should show us how many new mails we have. Yeah, and these these are the pins for it. I will at the end. Uh, no, when we are when we are at the Raspberry Pi in another video, I in the next video or so, then I'll show you where to connect all the pins. Yeah, then we have the retrieve mail function here. It selects our inbox right here, and then it reads all our unseen emails, unread emails, and counts them. How many unread emails we have, and then this uh, value comes to the analyze function, which, as I already told will analyze this and will let one, two or three LEDs light. Yeah, and this will happen, it will it will reload it every 10, no sorry, 11 minutes. Uh, sorry, <laughs> it will, uh, that was 666 seconds, uh, 11 minutes. It's it will be reloaded every 11 minutes because I read that Google 
can if they want. I heard something that uh, when there are too too many requests, I think uh, less than ten minutes. Uh, uh, I mean, when there are requests, m not waiting ten minutes after each other, something like that. Yeah. Uh, then it could be locked, so we can retrieve nothing anymore. So I took 11 minutes, and come on, I think it's not so much. Uh, it's I think it's not very bad when we have 11 minutes, right? Here. Yeah. Um, for testing, I made this one here. Try and accept keyboard interrupt. So when I want to close the program, it automatically shuts down all the GPIOs and exits. Sorry. So now we are on the Raspberry Pi and we will now set up everything that when the Raspberry Pi boots the program will automatically start. For that we go into our file manager right here and then in our pi directory as you I show you it's this is home and here in our pi directory well also the desktop directory is I made a new directory named mail you create new folder and in this one I have I already have our Python script in here you can from the computer when you copy when you have it on the computer you can uh, Transfer it by SSH or by a USB stick, and be sure make sure you have the directory named mail, and you give the Python program in into that directory. Yeah, here's another file. Uh, it's I just have it in because I already made it. I will now show you how to make this file. You make right click, then create new empty file, and then you write mail you name the file mail underscore start dot sh and then on ok or enter so then you will have this file and then you open it with a text editor like that and the file is empty but I have already written uh, something into it read this I will zoom a bit into it so the first is the shebang it says it says where the sh the where the sh program is the shell and yeah it's a it's a, it's a cell it's a shell script so we can script things right here what we actually write into the shell uh, yeah we first must say where is the program what executes it it's in this directory and then this is our the command to execute our python file right here you see, write that Python file here. Just write it into it. sudo python3 slash home slash pi slash mail slash unread underscore mail dot py. Then you save it. File. Save. And close it. And now, that's important. It will not work uh, when you don't do that. When you don't do that, it will not work. You open a new shell. And now you type. Yeah, now now you must make the shell script to an executable shell script. So you first change the directory to our mail directory, and then you write sudo hum mode ch mode plus x, and then the name of our file that was mail underscore start dot sorry dot sh and then enter now we have an executable sh file and we can now go on to the step where we enter the enter the startup of the file at startup To do this, just you can close this window right here. To do this, just open a new terminal. I will zoom in again a bit. 
just open a new terminal and type sudo chrome tap minus e enter and now you've got the cr the chrome tap the chrome tap is a program that executes comments at the spe specific moment or time you will now and the, this is the file where you write all your comments into and you just scroll down now until to the end and then you write exactly this what I have written here I will zoom in again this is at reboot sleep 10 then a semicolon sudo sh slash home slash pi slash mail slash mail underscore start dot sh ampersand or the end the end <coughs> this just says at reboot at the reboot uh, or after the reboot also ah sorry it's uh, when the when it starts always when the when the pi is starting after it has started fully started then sleep 10 seconds just for if something must still configure or something like that then a semicolon and then sudo sh we execute this file with the with the shell so sudo sh home slash pi slash mail slash mail start dot sh and then an ampersand in order to get it started in the background of the in the background it's a it's a background process then yeah then when you wrote it in you will now press control o and then enter to save and then you can press control x to exit